All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll try this. We'll, we'll try this. This is for this is for Turkey Broom. We're gonna we're gonna try and do a uh, error entering the Go Battle League. <laughs> oh God, it's just it's uh it's a mess today, y'all. It's a mess today. Shit is uh this shit is messy. All right, let's just let's give it a try. Let's see if we can find a win with it, or find some wins with it. It's not an overly creative. Talonflame team, but I do think uh, it gives Talonflame a chance to shine inside a core as kind of a closer, so um, it should be okay. I think it's going to be okay. What do we got? We got Ninetales and Swampert. Alright, well, we found the Swampert in the lead. I want to at least uh, make them think about a Dazzling Gleam. Now, the problem here, do we survive a Zap Cannon? Like, I genuinely don't know if we do. I feel like we're going to have to try, though. Because <laughs> obviously this matchup is, uh, is not awesome. And, like, they generated for themselves, uh, okay. Well, now I don't feel so bad because we're definitely shielding. Because now I'll get the shield back for sure. And obviously a debuff here would be kind of a bummer, but... Okay, they got the debuff, but that's fine. It actually gives us an extra move, which is kind of great. Okay, well... <laughs> I feel pretty good about where we're at now. Feel actually great about where we're at now. That's where uh that's one of the places where Talonflame can really excel is scenarios where like yeah, they're going to concede. Um like it gets right to see like yeah, we burnt two shields but like we came out with energy we can switch by switching there we have a talent flame at like full health uh the zap debuff let me farm an extra incinerate af miller yes it did it actually kind of helped us <laughs> it actually helped us um so pretty happy about that but like you know that zap that like it's it's unfortunate that we have to shield twice in that matchup but they shielded once so that was good right but you just get Talon with an energy lead, and especially if you can pivot. Oh, boy, it feels good. Oh, boy, it feels good. Uh, Sand Slash, that is bad for us. Um, we're going to go ahead. I know that this is not a favorable matchup. I'm hoping that they look at this and say, like, I mean, if they're just going to stay in here, fine. But, like, they don't do a ton of damage to us. Maybe they don't have a better Jealous Encounter. And that is a real scary possibility for us. There's a nice punch. I'm going to mess around. It gives them a Shadow Claw, but I think... We're in a position where, like, okay, that shadow claw gonna matter? Oh, it almost did. It almost mattered immensely. Okay, so we got the shield. I like that. Okay.
Obviously, we're going to Brave Bird before switching. <laughs> so I know that the Sand Slash has energy. That's something we have to keep in mind. I'm not going to shield this. Boy, I hope this uh, kills them. Because if it doesn't and they get another move off here, it's going to be real bad for us. Okay. Ah, Clefable. Okay. So we're feeling pretty good about our plan to just protect the, uh, the Talon Flame. What we have to be careful about now is them catching a move. They also do have energy on the uh, Sand Slash. So like, and they're gonna get a lot of energy here too because I can't switch. So the question is, what do we shield? We resist a lot. Yeah, but now, uh, okay, we have to shield this, and then I have to try and catch them. Oh, what? The Sand Slash wins CMP over us? Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. That feels bad. <laughs> okay, sure. I guess we lose. We might have struggled there at the end anyway, killing the Clefable, but obviously we should have won that game. We we flame charged there, and I think we outraced the Clefable. I think. It's possible we still lose, but we shouldn't have lost to that. Uh, Verizian. Okay. Thanks, Toshi. That's what I thought. Obviously, Ver Verizian is, uh, <laughs> you know, here's the thing. On one hand, I don't think my opponent should concede there. But on the other hand, I know what the rest of my team is. And I'm like, oh boy, I don't know that that Verizian is going to gonna do the job. So I guess we get a free win after we get absolutely, uh, absolutely browned. But yeah, unfortunately, the game, when you have switch-ins like that, the game just has a really fucking hard time dealing with, like, taking, uh, essentially, stuff, taking inputs. And so, I'm guessing that my opponent switched. It just dropped my input and let them get their move in and did not get let mine go in. That's what I'm guessing happened there. But it's a real shame. And if you were a higher level player than I was, that's the sort of stuff that is really, really awful because it prevents you from making good reads and correct plays at high levels. It's one of the reasons why I frequently hedge on caring about high level play. It's why I, I just sort of chilled. Max attack, yeah, so we should have got there. Okay, thank you, Goth. Because that's the sort of thing that, uh, you know, I guess in a tournament you just dispute that, but you shouldn't have to. It should just work. Uh, Dragonite. Oh, baby. That's that's a lead we like. Um, what's coming in? Yeah. Fine. I mean, we're still going to shield the... Uh, we still have to shield the Zap Cannon, right? right that's I guess that'd be a pretty important thing to know for us do we have to shield zap cannons uh, are we gonna no, the real question is okay no they're gonna have to decide about shielding and we'll do the same thing we did last time here 
if they shield this, which is we'll shield again. No, they're not going to. We're definitely going to get our shield back. Because, like... I'm actually not going to Bray Bird here. I think they're going to shield this no matter what, so... Yeah, they're going to shield it. And now they're going to have to throw a move at me, or... Yeah, we're, we're not obviously going to protect, but... Good move timing by our opponent. Dragon Claw will kill us. That's fine. And they can do whatever they want here. None of it hurts enough for me to care. It's just a matter of whether or not Jellicent's going to be okay. Yeah, superpower away. Uh, Jellicent's pretty good here. I did give them a little more time here than I probably should have, but... Because these stone edges do hurt. It's not like they're nothing. And I don't want to find myself in a scenario where the Ninetales needs to come in here. Or in a scenario where we somehow lose. Uh, or like the Dragonite farms us too much and we lose a shield, so... That was a good, uh, yeah, see, the next Stone Edge will kill us. Oh, good catch by our opponent. It's a good catch. Um, I think, though, what we'll do... We're pretty close to a gleam here. Yeah, perfectly on gleam. And then we just gleam this bad boy. Yeah. GG. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Um, all right, I'm going to look this up. We're going to look this up really fast. Battle... Because it's the second time I've needed to know. Ultra League. Level 50. Uh, Talonflame. Nope, that's not what I spelled. And Registeel. A Zap Cannon does a lot. <laughs> it does a ton of damage. So much so that, well, I guess you win the zeros. You do win the zero shield, which is kind of nice. But if if you no shield it, yeah, if you no shield it, uh, and then they shield, if you shield this, yeah, you lose, unfortunately. So you have to shield the zap cannon or you will get you'll get killed by lock on. Which is pretty bad. Like getting killed by lock on cuz they'll come out basically if you no shield they shield a flame charge and they come out with a zap cannon. <laughs> so that's not good. So you're definitely priced into shielding. No no way around it. No way around it. All right. Let's try and uh, let's try and pick up a fourth win. I feel like we should be at four, but hey, you know what? Let's try to pick up fourth now. Uh, Incineroar. Uh, that is. We're gonna go here. I know that this is like kind of an awkward matchup. Oh, it's on the fighting fast move. It's not on snarl. I know this boy got Dark Pulse, but he's putting no fast move pressure on us. Yeah, he's on double kick. I forgot this thing even learned double kick. I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot double kick was a thing. Oh, nice catch. I mean, I guess I could have just gone in right away, but that's fine. Sylveon. So 
I'm guessing it's on uh and this is on the the normal type move. My guess is it's on quick attack. That the boy there is on um what's it called? Flame charge as the other move. I mean the real question is do I shield this? I don't think I do because I think Talon Flame from here. This is like the perfect Talon Flame setup, right? Oh, also, well, it was the perfect Talon Flame setup. <laughs> I still think it's might. I mean, they shield this for some reason. Okay, if they were like, I'm shielding that. No, we're just gonna we're gonna go here. Oh yeah, that's that's fine for us. Kitty could be on Fire Blast. I can't imagine so. I can't imagine it's on Fire Blast. I don't think we shield this. I mean, if they're on Future Sight, I'm going to be sad. But... No! Alright, well... That kind of sucks. They did give me an Incinerate too, but... <laughs> They are on future site. So we do have to start shielding. The problem for them is that like it's not that bad. And we're getting such a massive running start at this point that like I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at here. Oh, they're on future site grass knot. That is a move set. Flame charge, you think? You don't shield the first flame charge. It is, okay. You don't shield the first flame charge. You shield the second one. The question here is, can I get to the Dazzling Gleam before they kill us? That's basically how we decide this game. Although, I'm not a thousand percent sure Gleam is going to kill them. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. So now what? They'll be triple flame charged. Okay. They ducked out. Yeah. I don't think this is going to work. I think this grass knot gets us. Okay. It didn't get us. Hold up. Oh, but we're going to die to stupid, uh, yeah, too long on the cycles. That got real messy. So I needed to know that Gleam was going to kill and it didn't. Basically, if Gleam had killed, we win that game. Um, but it didn't. So 